The 2012 Lasker Koshland Special Achievement Award in Medical Science honors Donald Brown and Tom Maniatis for exceptional leadership and citizenship in biomedical science, exemplified by fundamental discoveries concerning the nature of genes, by selfless commitment to young scientists, and by disseminating revolutionary technologies to the scientific community. Don was a pioneer in two ways. One is that he had the vision that it might be possible to apply molecular biology to understand how organisms develop. And secondly, he was just a brilliant experimental scientist who figured out uh, experiments that could answer the questions. When Donald Brown begins his research journey, the field of embryology was generally limited to description of anatomical features. His vision goes far beyond the existing boundaries of the field. I was one of the, certainly one of the early people to apply biochemistry and then molecular biology to the development of embryos. We did some of the right experiments and, and it defined a, an area, a, defined a, a, a set of questions newly that weren't done before. To investigate the formation of RNA, Brown develops a transatlantic collaboration with John Gurdon, utilizing the unique features of a particular mutation in Xenopus lavis. They make a vital discovery. And together, we showed that the anucleolate mutant of Xenopus died because it could not make new ribosomal RNA, 28 and 18S. It was essentially devoid of the ability, it lost the ability to make 18 and 28 ribosomal RNA. So it only could live as long as the old ribosomes laid down during oogenesis permitted it to, which was four days. Well, that was really the beginning of gene isolation. Brown's lifetime of research contributes many new understandings to the field of microbiology, including establishing that the nucleolus manufactures structural RNAs of the ribosome, co-discovering the first example of gene amplification, and identification of the first known internal control region of a gene. I found that research, the discovery fact, the, to making a new discovery was the most incredible high that one could have. When you found something that nobody else had found, the emerging field of molecular biology is also compelling to Tom Maniatis as a young scientist. At the forefront of each of the major questions in molecular biology resides a fellow, Tom Maniatis. He really has been seminal in our mechanistic understanding of the flow of information from DNA to the working molecules in the cell, proteins. With the development of recombinant DNA methods, the tools to understand gene expression in higher organisms become available. Uh, suddenly, we had tools that made it possible to isolate individual genes, isolate the, the RNA that uh, was made from them and the proteins that were made from the uh, RNA. Taking advantage of these new tools, the next step for Maniatis is developing the cDNA cloning method. The fact that we could uh, take a messenger RNA molecule from a, uh, a mammalian cell and uh, copy that messenger RNA into a piece of double-stranded DNA that had all the genetic information, insert that into a plasmid and then uh, and, and, and in turn into bacteria and generate clones of this provide an incredibly valuable tool that we can now use as a very specific probe. Maniatis has numerous breakthroughs key to the advancement of molecular biology, including isolating the first full-length cDNA molecule, developing methods for constructing cDNA libraries, and developing the first complete human genomic DNA library. The amount of knowledge that we have gained about how eukaryotic cells work, uh, the nature of human diseases is phenomenal. And I don't think anybody would have predicted that 
uh, we would have acquired that information so rapidly once these tools were available. The careers of both Maniatis and Brown are also distinguished by their commitment to the scientific community. Tom has a deep sense that science must be shared and so he's provided um, technologies to the world. When we developed this, the, the first human genomic DNA library, we made it available immediately to the community. It was complicated enough that there are probably are relatively few labs that could do that. And so they could skip all of these complicated steps to get to that point. He really is a spectacular model for how science should be done in this world. Like many artists, Brown's scientific citizenship makes an extraordinary impact. By creating the Life Sciences Research Foundation, he was able to nurture the early careers of many promising researchers in the biomedical sciences. A young scientist didn't just want the money from being uh, fellows of the Life Sciences Research Foundation, they wanted the honor. And so right now there are about 400 alumni who have gone on to very distinguished careers. Brown and many artists have redefined molecular biology through both their research and leadership. We've had some terrific uh, science here. I just, it really has been uh, an exciting era. The implications in many ways were obvious, but I think that no one really predicted uh, the enormous impact this would have. <laughs>